Well, here we go. It's uh, Friday, it's Thursday the 14th, and I'm all set, ready to go, departing tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. Uh, I've got uh, 600, litres, 600 litres of fuel on board, water tanks are full, and I've got everything ready. Um, everything's strapped down, so just have a quick look at it now. Uh, Newcastle Cruising Yacht Club kind enough to let me stay here for the night it up inside also so might as well have a shot of it inside oh. was tidied up <laughs> ready back here got my new uh, HF radio fitted um, have that fitted just in the corner here voila that's it Friday the 15th cleared the customs got my fault clearance and I'm underway um, just going down Newcastle Harbour now just to the couple of reefs in the main, taking it easy, get settled in, and uh, yeah, uh, looks like uh, good weather for a you know, journey, at least for the first five days, guaranteed, and uh, yeah, so here we are, Newcastle, bye bye, <laughs> feeling pretty good about it all, I uh, don't feel too stressed or too much under the pump. So it's quite good by myself. I've got my old mate Al here. He keeps me company. And uh, uh, Roger, did you go down to where you're anyway, going? Anyway, uh, that's it. So I'll have a scan around and have a look around the harbour uh, with the camera. And um, yeah, talk to you later on. I'm going to uh, get more sail up once I get down out of my heads here a bit. And I'll get the jib out. Uh, yeah, I'll get the jib out and I'll get myself underway. I'm just sailing, I'm not uh, I shut down the engine, I've got enough battery power at the moment, so there's no need to run it. Um, as I know, you know I expect to get to New Zealand, uh, to Picton, probably uh, late sat next Saturday, I'm guessing. So, anyway, see how we go. Anyway, good look around Newcastle, there's the old church up there. It's very pretty at night time, this harbour. Looking behind me, back towards Honeysuck. Um, yeah, I'll just do a swing around now. This is the city area. Uh, just getting up, set up here. All these are the stands. I got the V8 races, racing cars. Uh, I think this weekend here. But uh, anyway, that's where they keep the pilot boats. We look down here to uh, Nobby's Head. There's Nobby's Head up forward there. Do some more shots uh, once we get outside the harbour. 1.30, uh, we've cleared a Newcastle harbour. Um, we have a wind from the west, northwest, about 15 knots at present. Very quite pleasant conditions. Um, this is uh, the beaches uh, across the Newcastle beaches. Just go out here a bit and have a bit of a squiz around. Just sailing, um, just sailing with uh, two reefs in the main and uh, jib. So we're underway. They gave me one of the club bougies up there uh, last night before I left. So but anyway, all's good. Off to a good start. Uh, across there, that's Port Stevens, up towards those hills. And this is Stockton Bite all the way through here. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Whoa. 
Well, it's Saturday the 16th. This is my second day out. Afternoon now. Um, yeah, we've had uh, these sort of winds come in last night a bit stronger than what it is at present. And um, I've been well reefed down, going a bit slow, but uh, I've picked the pace up a little now. Mate Al there, he's still holding on. He's turned his head away at the moment. <laughs> it's Sunday the 17th. Um, we have very light wind today. We're in the centre of a high pressure system, I'm guessing. So I'm just motor sailing. Uh, just got a main up there with a couple of reefs in it to steady us up. But I think we're going to get a little bit more wind later today. Can do a bit more sailing, I hope. But anyway, all's been going well. Easy night last night. Haven't seen any traffic at all. Good morning. It's Tuesday the 19th. We've been out here for about uh, one, two, three, four days now. And uh, this is our best sailing day so far. We've had steady wind all night, um, winds 15 up to 20, been sailing with uh, two reefs in the main and uh, about two thirds of the Janar out, had nice wind angle, it's been from the northwest and westerly and we finally actually made a few good miles, seen them go through about 3 o'clock, I think it was thereabouts, uh, but anyway, all, all is well. And uh, the forecast is indicating uh, another good day of breeze. So let's hope that's right. So we'll, um, we'll head outside now and show you around and show you what the conditions are like. Yesterday was just very calm and quite uninteresting. Had to motor a lot, it was going slow. My average of speed so far has been quite poor, really. You know, just, just on or might be under five knots but anyway let's hope we can pick it up from there on but anyway we'll uh, shoot outside and have a look around hey day <laughs> you look a bit wide-eyed this morning all right here we are with our following sea and swell Oh look, we caught a squid last night. Hi Matty. That's where I rest my weary bones. I don't go to bed, I just catnap there. Mind you, I've had some good catnaps.
wind out here today trying to keep the boat sailing so I can conserve my fuel it's only about 8 to 10 knots at the moment so I've got it all up kind of thing we'll go forward and have a look Run, running it as a cutter both headsaws out sort of getting along pretty well on the light breeze over the hump, about 550 to go, that way. Another beautiful day out here. This is day six. Uh, I should say day six. And um, very calm. We're going through the centre of a high pressure system at the moment. Uh, been motor sort of motor, motor, motor sailing since um, six o'clock last night. But uh, all forecasts uh, with predicted wind are indicating that by midday today should be getting around 10 knots of wind and we'll be able to start sailing again. Um, put 80 litres of fuel from the containers into the tank this morning. So all our containers are now being uh, put in the tank. So we're carrying now about two, three, three hundred, uh, about 380 litres of fuel is left. So I've got to conserve it as much as possible because uh, I don't have enough to motor all the way and I am expecting uh, light winds from here all the way to Picton. So I'm going to have to at least sail two of the days. We've got about uh, four days to go to get to Picton. But um, it's beautiful at the moment. It's very easy. We had a, quite a severe thunderstorm uh, the night before last. Uh, Lots of lightning, thunder, heavy rain, wind gusting up to uh, 28 knots. But it lasted about an hour and it was all over. It's more like a, a tropical thunderstorm. Bit, bit used to them. But, uh, anyway, we hope to be sailing again by midday. And this is just an update. As you can see from behind, it's, it's very calm. So, anyway. That's my morning report for um, uh, Thursday the 21st.
very pleasant afternoon sailing sitting between uh, six and a half knots and seven and a half True wind speed, 13. There's a few albatross around, I was trying to catch one. That's a shearwater or a mutton bird. Been plenty of them. There's an albatross just out here. Well, it's Friday. Uh, this time last week, I left on Friday. So uh, I've been out here a full week now. Um, everything's going well today. I had a good run last night, and yesterday was my best run to date with uh, 150 miles in the right direction. Um, the uh, forecast from here on in is, is looking good. Um, if I can carry this wind through tonight, which I think it should happen. Uh, some motoring tomorrow being on the Saturday. And I have more sailing Sunday and should be in Picton on Monday. Touch wood. Um, I can show you the program that I'm using. For it. This, is, um, this is my program I'm using. This is Predict Wind. Um, I download this forecast uh, every day, twice a day, in the morning and the night. Um, yesterday was when this high pressure system was down here. So I came and I was very calm, becalmed. And then the wind, as it moved away, started to get the wind off, off the edge of it, the northwest wind from yesterday afternoon through till now. 
which has been great but um, I'll just show you how it works there's a little white spot there um, that's my position um, across the bottom here this is Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday this is where we these are the different modules and it indicates um, four different routes to choose from so I go by the best of three if three go in one direction and one in another I go with the best of three but the programs that I'm using is the uh, the PG at uh, the PWG and the PWE which is the red and the blue one and um, so what it's indicating to me is Friday midday today uh, tomorrow at midday the weather's going to look like that and we should be around that area so we're going to have light wind tomorrow and motoring I'm assuming come Sunday we're going to be over here and we're going to be back into the wind again so we we'll, we'll, should be able to sail on through by Monday that's when we should arrive a little bit stronger wind around Cook Strait um, but anyway I, would, I should have enough fuel to be able to motor and do stuff that make make life easier for myself but yeah that's it um, outside today very pleasant another nice afternoon sunny a bit like yesterday now I'm looking back there <laughs> old George the autopilot has been doing a wonderful job just been going non-stop since Newcastle. Al's been good. He hasn't said a word yet, so that's all good. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the day. Uh, it's uh, Sunday the 24th, about uh, 10 past eight uh, New Zealand time. I spotted land about an hour ago, sent a text off to Jennifer straight away, <laughs> and um, yeah, no, it was good, uh, also I uh, called the New Zealand uh, Maritime on my HF radio, and uh, then on uh, the VHF radio for the rest of my details, uh, they are aware of me coming, we have about 150 miles to Picton from here. Uh, and I'm planning on getting there tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll take it a bit easy. I don't want to arrive um, you know, too early. So I'll just start to slow up a little bit if I have to. But uh, all is well. Uh, it's a very overcast day. And uh, I'll get uh, no longer see land. It's, um, it's just all hazy over there. You can sort of see by the cloud shape that there is land underneath it. I'll uh, swing it round. Not so far to go, but uh, no, you just can't see it now. The clouds filled in quite a lot. We're only about uh, 35, uh, 35 miles off. A few mutton birds cruising around. I've had them all the way. Um, a few albatross yesterday, which was nice to see. Uh, can't see the smoke of uh, Australia. <laughs> Um, everything's been working really well with the boat um, I had a little issue yesterday uh, the fuel was um, getting air in uh, there was an o-ring I needed to replace which I never have before but anyway it's up and running and everything's going really well
it's uh, Monday the 25th. We uh, had to pull off and anchor last night. We had gales, gale warnings for uh, Cook Strait. And uh, yesterday afternoon, we had wind to 35 knots uh, coming around uh, Fair, Farewell Cape, or Cape Farewell. It backed off, but I chose to come this way and go via the French Passage, French Pass, um, because I thought it would be more sheltered. However, um, during the evening last night, the wind came up and it was pretty blowy and nasty. So uh, I pulled aside and I'm anchored in a bay called O, well hang on, O Kawi Bay. Um, I notified customs via VHF radio um, what we had done as uh, it was just uh, too rough to go on. And that was okay with them. They gave me clearance to anchor and uh, I got in here at two o'clock this morning pitch black had no idea just strictly going off my uh, uh, chart plotter into this anchorage so I'll go and show you where we ended up to my surprise this morning <laughs> I'm about to get underway and go through uh, French Passage and uh, try to make Picton uh, before um, five o'clock. To go through French Pass. Uh, tide uh, known to run here pretty hard. Um, as you can see, it's quite narrow. It's about 400 feet across the entrance. Um, to the left side there, it's just all shoals. Uh, so you need to, you can see a reef right there. And uh, we've got to stay closer to this uh, marker here. Get off the job and do it. <laughs> Island Ferry, letting him go past. Uh, that's where I'm going to, into there is where I clear customs. So we've got another, uh, what do you call them, uh, Inter Island Ferry to go behind. So anyway, good, good stuff, should be in there tied up in half an hour. Took a bit of trying to find out where to go. No one was answering phones and wrong numbers and anyway uh, the uh, harbour uh, Picton Harbour radio helped me out which was great. Well this morning I thought I might just, uh, Al and I, might just do a, uh, a summary of how the trip went. Um, after leaving Newcastle 
um, had all right with all right winds this first day, but there was a northerly, but there was a, a southerly change coming that night at 10:30, um, which came and blew about 25 knots. But conditions got quite rough um, as I got over out into the deep water uh, on the 100 fathom line uh, due to uh, about a three knot southerly current against the southerly. So it was a bit, bit, bit ordinary for a while, very confused and very steep sort of waves. But uh, once across that, it was okay. And um, had uh, a mixed bag of light wind for the first half of the trip. Um, actually motored uh, 24 hours there at one stage. At the second half of, of the crossing, um, I had more, although light wind, but I had some good wind, which uh, sort of helped. And uh, I've learned to sail my boat a lot better than I had, had been in the uh, in the past, um, I was using the, the cutter, the cutter rig, and running both staysail and, and Genoa, and I had a reef in the main you know, most of the way. Um, yeah, so I was sort of skipping along quite okay with that rig up, and uh, found it really, really good to run as a cutter. Surprising, the difference it makes than just using a the Genoa um, by running a staysail gives you an extra bit of power. Um, but um, as I uh, approached New Zealand, I was about uh, 40, 50 miles off, uh, just after daylight, and uh, I could barely see the coast. Um, so uh, anyway, a uh, bit after that, fog came in. So visibility was down to about half a mile. Uh, so as I was uh, going around, uh, Cape Farewell in the fog, the wind started freshening, it got up to like 35 knots and it blew like that for oh, a couple of hours at least, a few hours, and settled down again, but I, I was only uh, 3.7 miles off the spit itself as I was coming around to the spit toward the end of the spit, still could not see land, and um, so I just held on and uh, then there was, uh, I, as I got to the end of the spit on the eastern end, it cleared, the fog cleared and I could see where I was at. And, uh, but there was also uh, gale warnings for Cook Strait. So I was a bit hesitant, I thought I might, uh, tossed and turned about it, and, uh, I thought I might uh, go via the French Pass, which, uh, which would have took me into Golden Bay, Golden Bay, yeah, Golden Bay, Tasman Bay, and so I thought I'd do that rather than, you know, have to face up to gale, gale force winds in Cook Strait, and but as I was approaching and, and going in, into uh, into the bay, into Golden Bay, uh, as I was going into the Golden Bay, uh, the wind freshened once again, and it was sort of blowing uh, back into 30 knots. So, as I was sort of going into the bay, uh, the wind freshened again and up to 30s. So I, I decided to seek shelter. Um, I would have gone through the pass at about two o'clock in the morning, no moon, dark as, blowing. It didn't seem like a real good idea. I could have achieved it without a problem, but uh, I decided uh, to seek shelter. So I found a bay called uh, Akuri Bay and I dug my way into there in the dark and couldn't see anything at all and uh, just working off my uh, chart plotter and radar and dropped the anchor in uh, 10 metres of water and contacted the New Zealand uh, Maritime and Customs to inform them that I had you know, seek shelter uh, customs gave me clearance to clearance for it, and the next morning at eight o'clock, um, I, I went uh, through French Pass. Uh, pleased I did, pleased I did wait till the morning because the views were quite special, very pretty, pretty run. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, run on to then run on to uh, Picton and arrived here at three that afternoon. Uh, 
customs in the quarantine were standing on the dock waiting for me. The service was fantastic, very pleasant, a very pleasant contact they were. And there was no problems at all, no charges, unlike Australia where the quarantine rip you off, you know. Um, but uh, no charges, everybody happy. Um, half an hour job done and I'm now berthed here at uh, Waikawa Marina and uh, it's quite quite pleasant here for three days and then I'm going to go out and have a look around the islands but anyway it's all, all been pretty good I've, I've been enjoying myself to date and uh, had old mate Al here with me <laughs> Al <laughs> give me someone to talk to <laughs> doesn't answer back or anything so it's, it's pretty good you know Anyway, morning Al. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Thanks for listening.